Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Ugh, this isn't going to be pretty, but let's just get it over with. Today we'll be reviewing this, which is the Cold War Time Zone playset, and here it is in its packaging. So you can see the standard Doctor Who logo and its insignia on the bottom with Cold War Time Zone playset printed beside it. A big image of the set itself takes up most of the front of the box so you can collect and build the universe of Doctor Who. Jeez, that'll take a while. The set includes an exclusive Ice Warrior creature figurine. Yay. And it is a 3D card diorama playset. How wonderful. So at the bottom here it says it is for the 3.75 inch scale action figures, but below it is written NOT INCLUDED. Then below it in small white lettering you can read Armoured Ice Warrior figure NOT INCLUDED. Which is a bit misleading as not only does the Ice Warrior toy appear on the front of the box, it's also present in all of the promotional images for this toy as well. The back of the box includes an outline of the actual Cold War episode, some stuff we already knew, more negatives plastered underneath the image of the set, and some of the other playsets available which clicked together to create bigger zones. Magical. And there is some customary legal garb printed at the bottom. So I'm already incredibly disappointed. Let's open it up and get this thing put together. I... Uh, I... I've got nothing. I mean, where do I start? Yeah, it's a cross-section of the Russian nuclear submarine from the Cold War episode. So, at the top you can see the ice floats and sea with a section of the sub poking out from the water. On one side there is a missile silo slash launch area thingy with detail of a hatch and some Russian lettering printed onto it. And above you can see the actual missile poking out. Beside it we get more printed detailing, this time of a door with more sections of grey pipes and metal tubing above it. In the bottom corner there is a card with the front of the TARDIS printed onto it, although why the TARDIS looks looks old and worn is a bit of a mystery. It's only supposed to be a bit wet. Maybe they just designed a removable police box panel for the Angel Stick Manhattan playset and chucked it in with this set as well, to save time and money of course. Next to it some more machinery and pipes are visible and what seems to be an open hatch below them. Another panel actually sticks out from the wall in an attempt to give this set some depth, but it fails miserably. This entire back wall is enclosed in a section which looks like an old TV with this screen smashed out of it, which includes detailing of, hey look, what a surprise, more machinery stuff, while the side includes three red stars, and the base contains detailing of checker-plated metal. That's all well and good, except for one small flaw. The entire thing is made from cardboard. No, sorry, let me correct myself. The actual base is made from a turquoise plastic frame with the card base slotted over it and the transparent support beams at either side of the set are also plastic and that's it. The entirety of the rest of this set is pure card. Not durable plastic, no. Easily damaged, turns to mush when it gets wet, cardboard. Which is an excellent design choice, seeing as kids will no doubt want to reenact scenes from the episode with this set and their figures. You know, scenes from the episode where it was constantly flooding with water? Brilliant move, character. Never before have I bought a toy which has been made from the same material as its packaging. What's worse is that the card panel for the floor is too big, so I had to trim it with a pair of scissors to make it fit, and even then the card is warped, so it's difficult to stand your figures on it when it's on display. Yeah, I know, they come with their own bases, but it just detracts from the set's overall look, and I would have preferred the base to have been covered with a few pegs instead. You'll notice around the base there are a few large pegs which are intended to attach to other time zone sets, although why anyone would want to do this is frankly beyond me. The TARDIS panel is removable, allowing you to place the spin and fly TARDIS into the set itself. However, the rectangular gap for the TARDIS to fit into is far too big, as you can see when I compare the panel to the front of the spin and fly toy. I would have preferred it if the spin and fly TARDIS could have slotted into a much tighter gap, therefore really making it seem like part of the playset. And to top it all off, the base is too high for the police box to be placed behind it, so its flight cradle must be attached to the toy in order for this feature to to work. Included in this set is an exclusive Ice Warrior out of its armour, or a naked Ice Warrior as I like to call it, and it's very poor. There's no articulation and the detail is basic at best, the face sculpt barely resembles the alien scene in the actual episode. The paint apps are off and it's moulded from this soft rubbery plastic, which smells really bad. On the torso and arms you can see some silver sections, which I'm guessing are there to somehow work in tandem with its suit. You can make out some muscle detailing down his chest and stomach as well, while the back offers nothing special. 
At least they got the long three-fingered hands right. The feet include three elongated toes, while underneath there are two peg holes, which is ironic considering that this is the only three and three quarter inch figure which cannot stand freely and therefore actually requires a base, yet does not come with one. However, seeing as the creature spends most of its time hanging upside down, the figure can be hung by its feet from this hole at the top of the TV section to look as though it's menacing other figures. But even then, it doesn't look great, mainly because the figure lacks any articulation, so it can't be posed with its arms outstretched. Doing a size comparison, the Naked Ice Warrior fits in well with the other 3.75 inch scale figures and doesn't look too out of place when next to the Ice Warrior figure itself, so I can actually see this creature being able to fit inside the armour. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, I think we have a strong contender for my worst toy of the year award here. For a kid's toy, this is genuinely pathetic. It offers no features whatsoever, no lights, no sounds, nothing. Sure, the TARDIS panel is removable, allowing you to slot your spin and fly TARDIS in there, but it's the wrong size and just looks out of place. The only reason I can see people buying this is for a display diorama for their 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, and even then, it doesn't look great. The only reason I picked it up was to get the Naked Ice Warrior figure, but with its lack of detail and articulation, inability to stand, and poor build quality, I just wish I hadn't wasted my time. But the biggest insult of all is the fact that it's made from cardboard. Cardboard! I complained when I discovered the 11th Doctor's playset had a card wall, and here we are three years later with an entire playset made from this feeble material. In all fairness, the build quality is quite strong, considering it's made up of a load of sections of card slotted together, and it is easy enough to build, but the fact that it's made from card in the first place is what really gets on my nerves. Had it been made from moulded plastic, with some of that pipe and machinery detailing moulded into it, it would have looked so much better, and been much more durable. But instead, we're given a weak, boring playset constructed of easily damaged card. All in all, it's a pathetic excuse for a toy. And so that does it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there are countless more reviews online. Thank you again for watching. And remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye.